Now, CBS2 investigates. The death of a three-year-old girl who was being cared for by a foster mother could turn into a criminal investigation. Her name is Aaliyah. And new pressure tonight to reopen the investigation in response to the story you're about to see. Here's Dave Savini with the CBS2 investigation into what happened to Aaliyah. <laughs> The little girl behind this adorable smile is Aaliyah Banga. Born with a bad heart, Aaliyah's life was a difficult one. She was just one and a half when she underwent a heart transplant. It should have been the beginning of a new healthy life, but Aaliyah needed more help. Her biological mom couldn't care for her, and her mom asked DCFS to find her a safe home. Aaliyah came to me as a... Um a baby when she was one. DCFS gave custody of Aaliyah to this foster mother, Karen Castleberry. And I kind of fell in love with her. She was a bubbly, smiling little girl. She had been through so much. She was even featured in a promotional video for a hospital. Karen. Castleberry is what DCFS calls a specialized foster mother trained to take in children with special medical needs. Dr. Farm, we got a doctor's visit. She had already fostered another child who had a transplant and also needed the same medicine as Aaliyah. And Castleberry knew how critically important it was that Aaliyah was always given her anti-rejection medicine, Tacrolimus, for her new heart. I knew, always knew that there was a chance that I could lose her. And I knew that she wouldn't be with me forever. But just a year and a half after getting Aaliyah, her body started rejecting the heart. An investigator's report says Castleberry told them she found the little girl in distress on the patio of her home on Chicago's west side. Instead of calling 911, Castleberry drove Aaliyah to Lurie Children's Hospital. A DCFS report says Aaliyah was hooked to machines for five days, but the damage to the toddler's heart was too much. She died and is buried here. But now, three years later, the CBS2 investigators have uncovered alarming details about her death. A medical examiner report shows Aaliyah's heart doctor suspected Castleberry had neglected to give the child her life-saving anti-rejection meds. Excuse me, Karen. I'm Dave Savini from Channel 2, and I gotta ask you some questions about DCFS. We tried to talk to Castleberry about Aaliyah and what we found in these Cook County Medical Examiner, Police, and DCFS reports. Piecing together these documents, we found Aaliyah's cardiologist was alarmed when she reviewed Aaliyah's blood work and saw a very low level of anti-rejection medication. Police and DCFS were called. Yes. DCFS's investigation found levels of her medication were nearly undetectable. DCFS found Castleberry responsible for failing to administer the child's medication to her and indicating her for death by neglect and medical neglect. There is a death by neglect investigation that was indicated against you. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. But I would like to talk to you about, no, we're not. about her. No, we're not. Little no, girl. No, no, no. The DCFS investigation also says Castleberry, the foster mother, had not picked up the child's medication for the prior month of September despite several notifications from the pharmacy. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. No. I'm not gonna talk about it? No, no, no. Did you appeal it? She did not appeal the findings and surrendered her foster care license, but our investigation raises questions about whether Castleberry should have even had a foster license at the time of Aaliyah's death in October of 2020. In 2017, Castleberry was charged with domestic battery for beating and injuring a different child, a 10-year-old girl with a belt. This Chicago police arrest report details the girl's wounds, a black eye, and multiple linear and buckle marks on her back. Another police report says Castleberry admitted she struck the victim several times with the belt because the child lied about attending violin classes. Can we talk about the arrest with the domestic? Involving the older girl? DCFS investigated Castleberry for that 10-year-old's alleged abuse under a classification DCFS calls cuts, bruises, welts, abrasions, and oral injuries. Despite Castleberry's arrest and the child's bruises, DCFS closed the investigation and classified it as unfounded.
The police report says that this mother beat the girl with a belt buckle um, on her face and gave her a black eye. And on her back? Yeah, and, and on her back uh, as well. Charles Goldberg is the Cook County Public Guardian. We asked him to review the abuse and neglect files involving Castleberry. It's sad for uh, it's sad for the children in this person's um, care. What was your reaction when you read that police report about the belt beating? Did they take this information and do a thorough proper risk assessment to see whether there should still be foster children in this home? So this raises a lot of very serious red flags. And there was another red flag, another case involving Castleberry's treatment of Aaliyah. Seven months before Aaliyah died, then just two and a half years old, she had to be hospitalized for the flu. This DCFS record says Castleberry just left the toddler there all alone for three days in the hospital. There was an attempt to remove Castleberry as Aaliyah's foster mother. A notice of removal was issued, but Castleberry appealed. DCFS allowed her to keep parenting Aaliyah. With everything that had happened in this home and all these red flags uh, and, and everything prior, um, there, yeah, there are a lot of red flags to say the least. We've spent years investigating DCFS and obtained this abuse and neglect data dating back to 2016. By analyzing it, we found a pattern. When a foster parent is accused of abuse or neglect, the allegations go unfounded nine times out of 10. It was in this data where we found Castleberry and learned of Aaliyah's death. This is a case that was buried in their records, you know, that we wouldn't have known about had we not done the data investigation. Does this make you wonder how many more are out there? Oh, of course, absolutely. No, 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 it no, says no, you no, didn't no. give her medicine. That's not true. Back in 2020, when Aaliyah died, Chicago police also opened an investigation into her death. But what happened to that investigation is unclear, except that it was closed. There were no criminal charges. And not picking up a medicine from a pharmacy for over a month would be critical. Yeah. That, that, that would be medical neglect, absolutely. I have the death investigation right here. Now, after our investigation, DCFS is requesting Chicago police reopen a criminal case into what happened to Aaliyah Banka. As the Cook County Public Guardian, you also want the police to reopen this case. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Do you have anything to say about that at all? According to an investigator's report, Castleberry denied failing to give Aaliyah her medicine. Now to Castleberry's 2017 domestic battery charge involving the other child. Court records show a motion to, quote, present proof of anger management. Then the charge was dropped. DCFS says it will assist the Chicago Police Department if it reopens Aaliyah's death case. We will stay on it. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators.